In the late 19th century, a new phenomenon swept across America, spirit photography. This was the practice of taking photographs of living people with the supposed apparitions of their deceased friends or relatives. How did this curious and controversial art form emerge? And what did it reveal about the beliefs and emotions of the people who sought it? The origins of spirit photography can be traced back to an accidental discovery by a Boston engraver and amateur chemist named William Mumler. In 1861, he took a self-portrait in his home studio and noticed a faint figure of a young girl beside him. He showed the photograph to a friend who was a spiritualist or a follower of a religious movement that claimed to communicate with the spirits of the dead. The friend identified the girl as Mumler's cousin who had died 12 years earlier. Mumler was intrigued and decided to experiment with this fusion of science and supernatural. Mumler soon realized that he had a lucrative business opportunity. He advertised himself as a spirit photographer who could capture the images of departed loved ones on film. He charged $10 per photo, a hefty sum at the time, and attracted many customers who were eager to see their departed loved ones again. Some of his clients were famous, such as Mary Todd Lincoln, the widow of President Abraham Lincoln, who was photographed with the ghost of her husband. Mumler's success inspired other photographers to follow his example. One of them was William Hope, a British medium who founded a group called the Crew Circle. Hope claimed that he could produce a spirit photograph by using psychic energy and special plates that he prepared beforehand. He also used cutouts, double exposures, and other tricks to create convincing effects. Spirit photography became especially popular after the American Civil War, which claimed more than 600,000 lives. Many Americans were grieving and desperate for consolation. They turned to spiritualism as a way of coping with their loss and finding hope for the afterlife. Spirit photography offered them a tangible piece of proof of the survival of the soul and a reunion with their loved ones. However, not everyone was convinced by spirit photography. Many skeptics denounced it as a fraud and exposed the methods used by the photographers to deceive their customers. One of them was P.T. Barnum, the famous showman and hoaxer who wrote a book called The Humbugs of the World in 1865. In it, he revealed how Mumler and others manipulated their photos and preyed on the credulity of the public. Barnum was later an expert witness for the prosecution in a fraud case against William Mumler in 1869. The jury in that case was shown nine different ways spirit photography could be achieved without going beyond the grave. Nevertheless, the jury was not convinced that Mumler was committing fraud against his clients and acquitted him of the charge. Another later critic of spirit photography was Harry Houdini, the legendary magician and escape artist, who had a personal interest in debunking spiritualism. Houdini had lost his mother in 1913 and had attended several seances in the hope of contacting her. He was disappointed by the mediums he encountered and became determined to expose them as frauds. He wrote books, gave lectures, and staged demonstrations to show how they faked their phenomena, including spirit photography. Despite the efforts of Houdini and others, spirit photography did not disappear completely. It continued to be practiced by some spiritualists and believers until the 20th century. It also influenced other forms of artistic expression, such as painting, literature, and cinema. Today, spirit photography is regarded as a fascinating historical curiosity that reflects the cultural and psychological aspects of its time.